As H1N1 vaccine clinics have started to spring up, some pregnant women are choosing to line up. I could pass the protection on to my newborn daughter. To understand how dangerous the H1N1 virus can be for pregnant women, consider the case of 27-year-old Aubrey Updike, who is just beginning her slow recovery from a near-death experience. almost lost my life because of this flu and, you know, never thought it happened to me. And this past July, the South Florida mother caught what she thought was a cold. It became life-threatening within days, sending her to the intensive care unit at Wellington Regional Medical Center. She spent five weeks in a drug-induced coma, suffering collapsed lungs, kidney failure, and seizures. An occasional smoker, she had no underlying health conditions. Her biggest risk factor for H1N1? She was six months pregnant when she got sick. Pregnancy suppresses the immune system, and as the baby grows, there is less room for the lungs to expand, making breathing more difficult. I was not sure every day whether she would be there the next morning or not. That's how bad her lungs were. Doctor. 100 pregnant women have been admitted to the ICU across the country with complications of H1N1. 28 have died. That is why pregnant women are considered a priority group to receive the H1N1 vaccine. Just two weeks into Aubrey's fight with the virus, her husband Brian had to make a life and death decision. Doctors could save either his wife or their unborn baby. Um, it was really hard. It was, it, it, was, it was hard to do. You said save my wife. Yeah, I said save Aubrey. Their baby daughter was delivered by emergency C-section. Weighing just two pounds and three months premature, she survived only seven minutes. What are you telling your friends who are pregnant now about the vaccine? I'm telling them, you know, just look at my case. You know, I wish that I would have had the opportunity to have a vaccine. Jennifer, you are practicing OBGYN. In your practice, are women coming in wanting the vaccine? Because they don't usually get regular That's seasonal right. flu. That's right, Harry. Traditionally, only about 15% of pregnant women choose to get a regular flu shot. And that's because of concerns that they have, understandably so, about putting anything in their body. I am seeing more pregnant patients coming in wanting to be vaccinated against H1N1. And for them, Harry, their fear of this virus is greater than any concerns they might have about the virus, the vaccine. The vaccine, right. Jennifer, thanks so much.